you pull the bottom check out, you want to bring it out from over the uh, top of the well like this because you don't want it to drop in. And you can lift this hook up or you can roll it and lift the hook up and now you have removed the bottom check valve. Sometimes it's called a foot valve. But again, it looks very similar to the one that we inspected earlier. We have the poppet in here, which we want to make sure is moves freely. And this, to remove it, you just push it up and then roll it out with your thumb. And there is the check valve. You want to, the actual check itself. So you want to make sure that it's good and intact. Put it in and then just roll it back into place. Make sure again that it moves freely. Notice this has a loop on the top. That is so you can remove it with the removal tool. On the other, on the top check valve, we had a cup seal here. On the top check valve, you want to make sure that your seal is in the top. On the bottom check valve or the foot valve, these clip in and hold it into place. And this is the O-ring seal in the bottom groove, which allows it to seal into the bottom of the cylinder. That's why we didn't see that 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 kind of tool on the top check valve. That is correct. Instead of there being the loop, then we have the first of our sucker rods. And again, these are identical. When you purchase this in the store, it will come to you like this with a cup seal here. So if you want to use it as a top check, you can remove this, take this off, and put your, uh, uh, just screw, there's a bolt through here, and you can just screw your sucker rod to that, and then it's a top check. Put the loop on, make sure that your O-ring seal is here, and now it's a bottom check. So this, is, like I said, is our bottom check valve or our foot valve. <clears throat> We've done our inspections. Now that we need to put this back in the well, this is the first thing that goes back in the well. And this is the only thing that you ever intentionally drop down the well. You drop it down, these four pins here go in and either will settle down or may even snap in place. And if they don't snap in place, we will, make, we will force them in and we'll cover that shortly. But anyway, this is ready to go back in, your bottom check valve or your foot valve. So you, you take it, make sure that the loop is up because you need to be able to retrieve it. You reach your hand down in so that you get it started down into your rising main and then you just release it. You'll hear it go sliding down and it may hit the water and then slowly settle down. So our bottom check is now in place. We start putting the, uh, we start with the top check and that uh, sucker rod and then just reassemble all the way down. So we take our top check, we get it started down our rising main, then we take our first piece of sucker rod, we lack, latch it on, raise it up, then we slide the rubber piece down to kind of lock it into place and that holds it in the center of our rising main. Again, because of safety we want to make sure that we've got at least two hands on the pieces of sucker rod as they go down and you just continue replacing your sucker rods and lowering into the well. And they lock into place. There you go. And just keep on lowering them down. And then you reach the last uh, sucker rod, which has the, the connection for our pivot pin. And you lower it all the way down. And we need to seat that bottom check valve because it may not have popped into place. So as you push your, this down, you ease it down, it goes into the cylinder down at the very bottom of the well and you keep on lowering it down and pushing it down. may have to have a little force, but just keep pushing it down and then you'll feel it bottom out on that lower check valve and then you just kind of bump it down and push and it locks into place. Now then you raise the sucker rod back up and put your wrench back through to hold it in position. You slide the wrench through the two slots in the top of the uh, pump head and just let the sucker rod come to rest on that. <laughs> 